Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about radio and satellite navigation. So this is a part of uh, satellite navigation and global positioning system. Okay. So what is global positioning system? In short, we know this particular global positioning system as GPS. Okay. So whenever you want to reach some particular area or uh, destination or to a new address, what we do? We pick up our phone, okay, and uh, we search in the Google Maps, right? Okay, so that is what's happening over there. We are using the technology called global positioning system with the help of satellites, and we are able to locate some position or the address of something, okay? So it can be an area or it can be a vehicle or it can be any kind of address, okay? Or it can be a human being, anything, okay? So what we are doing we are taking the help of a global positioning system device which can be connected to the satellites which are moving in the orbit and we are able to locate the uh, our desired output okay now generally uh, the global positioning system okay it was uh, uh, in the early days it was uh, used to locate the position of the ships aircrafts and targeting the enemy warships as well right now we are generally using it for an uh, daily purpose like uh, uh, locating the several addresses in the cities wherever you want to move okay so this particular global positioning system gps uses l band signals okay so the position and accuracy of this particular gps will be somewhat around three meters so within the three meters you can get the exact location okay so there are two types of position location systems okay they are Navstar as well as LoRaN. Okay, Navstar is nothing but navigation system timing and ranging. LoRaN is long range navigation. Okay, these are the two uh, GPS systems. Okay, which are existing and very much popular. So, compared to Navstar, LoRaN has a very less position accuracy. So, uh, Navstar is much more preferred uh, than LoRaN for uh, using it for GPS application, okay? So this particular Navstar can also be directly called as a GPS, which is a global positioning system in order to um, find uh, any kind of position of anything, okay? With respect to uh, globally, okay? So how this particular mechanism is done, how actually satellites are able to find the uh, a position, how the inputs are given, how the output is taken, we are going to see it in the uh, position determination which will be in the next class right now what we know is so this particular gps consists of 24 satellites in mio okay so medium earth orbit or a middle earth uh, orbit okay so which is after uh, which is somewhere uh, away from the leo okay so we have three layers of the orbitals right okay three types of orbits leo mio and geo right okay leo is the lower earth uh, Mio is the middle earth, okay, and uh, uh, Geo is the geostationary orbits which are very, very far. So, Mio lies in the middle position of this particular three orbits. So, if at all you are using a GPS uh, means, using a GPS you are trying to find a location means. So, uh, this particular 24 satellites will be uh, applicable which are in the uh, Mio orbit, okay. Uh, medium earth or you can also call it as middle earth orbit okay so these satellites belongs to one constellation so constellation is nothing but an orbital path in which several satellite belongs so as we are talking about only gps these satellites completely belongs to uh, one constellation out of 24 satellites okay if at least three satellites are working these three satellites will be enough to find the position, global positioning or GPS position accurately, okay? Not all 24 satellites is required. However, 24 satellites are present in that particular constellation. But at least if three satellites are working perfectly, okay, those three satellites are enough to find the accurate position, okay? So this is how we uh, uh, explain or study this particular radio and satellite navigation, okay?